Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today I'm with Alex Clemen, who is the CEO of Leocor Gold on the CSE with the ticker LECR. How are you today, Alex? Great, Chris. Thanks for having me. Well, Leocor is in one of the hottest areas of uh, mining exploration these days, which is uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, you're on the island in Newfoundland, and you've actually hit your horse to a really well-known geologist, uh, and Sean Ryan, and have seemed to have three very interesting projects. And uh, you had a recent uh, news release about some results you've done on one of your projects called the Western Exploits. Uh, yes. Maybe you can just start off with that one for the investors. Certainly. Uh, we, we have, as you mentioned, three different uh, project grounds, uh, Bay Vert in the east, uh, the Western Exploits, which is the center, central, north central Newfoundland, and we've got uh, in, towards Gander, Gander Zone. Got the Star Trek property. Western Exploits is one of the largest, if not the largest, land package held by a, a public company in Newfoundland. It's, it's over 140,000 hectares. Uh, and Sean Ryan, as you mentioned, is a well known prospector, had a lot of success in the Yukon, has uh, turned his attentions over the last four or five years to Newfoundland. And uh, we're utilizing this soil grid tech, uh, methodology, which is really a great start to what is essentially virgin ground. And that's what's wonderful about Newfoundland. It hasn't been uh, a pin cushioned to death and we're in a great situation where they're, thanks to companies like Newfound Gold, showing other showing the rest of us that there's lots of discovery to be made. So we're, uh, we're happy where we are and we're being methodical in how we get there. And I think your Bay Verde project is your most advanced one right now. What, what have you done there recently? Yeah, no, Bay Verde is, uh, a, a, it's been pieced together. It's about 2,000 hectares. It's got lots of uh, known gold showings. Basically, Newfoundland was, was, was prospected and run, uh, run uh, by Noranda back in the 90s and, uh, you know, in, in the 80s. And, uh, and so we're in a situation here where Bay Verde has had some uh, piecemeal exploration over a long period of time. And we pieced together a nice uh, land package there. Lots of showings. We're we're hoping to get some drills in the ground a little later in the year. Um, whereas in Western Exploits, we still have a lot of grid work to do to get to those drill targets. Now it appears that you uh, take a very um, methodology of a very like uh, systematic way of exploring the area. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can yeah. just go over that with some investors when they're looking for you know drill results right away. Maybe you can just right. go over how you guys do your exploration uh, plans. Right. Well, perfect example is 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 Bay Vert, where we. We've done soil work. We've done, uh, there's been a lot of historical work. So that's a little quicker for us to get drills in the ground. Whereas Western exploits really had, no one's ever done any work on the ground. And it's such a large package. I and mean, we're throwing out the net so wide, it's gonna take some time. Um, but to, to when you look at Newfoundland and you study the geology and the history of, de, of, of, of mineralization uh, through a lot of the, the zones in Newfoundland, you realize that this ground has just never been worked. So we're lucky. We know there's gold there. Uh, how much, where it is, this is what the soil grid programs do for us. They give us uh, the best drill targets and then we'll go in and drill. So uh, drilling it at Western Exploits sometime in the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, same thing with Star Trek, probably a little quicker at Star Trek, but certainly uh, much quicker at our Bay Bird package. And how's the bank account these days? Uh, excellent. Uh, we raised 11 million last uh, year. We've got about eight and a half in the bank. Uh, we've got a real strong uh, relationship with our investors. And uh, one thing, uh, as, as if you look into it, I mean, what are we, an 18 million market cap at uh, 8 million cash, 8.5 million cash. So pretty good situation to be in. Yeah, I think you have a very tight capital, only uh, a little over 50 million shares outstanding. Yep. And, you know, for a company for a less than $20 million market cap with $8 million in cash, that's a, a fairly good value for, for the investor. Uh, over the next, uh, say, year, I guess, or the, or the summer program, what, what are you going to be doing on the projects and what can investors look forward to seeing? Yeah, well, we'd love to get into drilling the Bay Vert uh, package. We know there's some high grade gold systems running through there and, and some copper numbers as well on the northern side of, of that Bay Vert package. Uh, so we'll probably do a RAB drill program in the next 90 to 120 days. So uh, by by uh, you know, Q2, Q3, and then we'll follow up with the diamond program in the fall. Uh, all the while, we're, we're continuing to run our soil grids over massive pieces of ground in that Western exploits uh, area. And do you have any plans to do things like some geophysics, like some IP as work as well? Yeah, once we get the soil 
book done and, and, and completed, which is quite an undertaking at, at Western Exploits, the next phase of exploration will include. Um, one of the things we really like is, is, is getting these, what they call geoprobes done. Geoprobe is a, is a system that, that Sean Ryan used to great success in the Yukon. These little mobile drill units are percussive. Uh, they're, they're non-disruptive and you can get real time grit, uh, deeper uh, results than you could obviously from grid work, soil grid work. Um, but that would probably be following up uh, the, the, so the soil work with, with these geoprobes. Uh, and then we'll go on to the next phases, which, you know, we've got regional ge geochemistry and geophysical work done by the, by the Newfoundland government that really helps. Um, but, but in terms of actual on the ground work and prospecting, it's never been done on this ground. So uh, we've got to get down, get our feet dirty and, and do the on ground work and, and reconnaissance. And that'll all follow over the next year. Well, it seems like a very exciting what's happening on your projects. You seem to have some, uh, you know, I did a lot of work, as I mentioned earlier, on uh, an Atlantic gold report. So covered off the area and it's a very active area right now. Lots of investment in it. And you seem to have three, you know, very good projects uh, that are, are worth the investigation. So we look forward to uh, following the story and maybe uh, we can speak again uh, in a couple of months after you've had some more results and we can update the investors. Would love to and uh, appreciate uh, you making the introduction of, uh, for Leocor to your audience. And, and we'll be definitely back to, uh, to keep everybody updated on the work we're doing. There's a lot going on and uh, it's an exciting time to be in Newfoundland.